Welcome to ESPN's College Football Primetime, presented by Polaroid. Tonight, it's an ACC matchup as the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets take on the number three Miami Hurricanes. And Darnell Jenkins on the other side. Here's the kick. Going to be taken at the five by Jenkins. Loses his footing, and he's down at the 21-yard line. Young Kyle Wright. And we have visited a lot about him and his progressions through the season. If they can protect Kyle Wright and give him time to throw. It. Charlie Jones made his name as they go with an end around. 20, 25, and 30. And it is Sonoris Moss. Here are the starters for Miami. Charlie Jones at tailback. Hill is the fullback. Moore and Sonoris Moss, who we just saw, wide receiver Greg Olson, the fine tight end. Up front with the offensive line, much improved. Eric Winston has really been a constant. Rashad Butler has been a very pleasant surprise. He's the man that moved in last year. A long way from Midland, Texas to <laughs> Miami, Florida, Ron, I promise you. Yep, those kids said they were glad he came here. It gave him an opportunity to visit this part of the world. Right, drills the pass. Did he catch it? Nope. Incomplete. Here are the starters for Georgia Tech. Eric Henderson, well documented. He and Roto on that left side, extremely tough. And UI and Adam Oliver making up the remainder of the down four. Hall, Wilkinson, and Philip Wheeler. Philip is a true freshman at one of those linebacking spots. Davis and Scott on the outside. Chris Reese, quite a player. And Dewan Landry at the free safety. His brother, Laron, plays at LSU. Gonna throw. Wright has a man. The ball is tipped and almost intercepted. But he not only got the depth, but had the, the jumping ability to get up and hit it. Third down. Here's Wright. Safety valve. Throws it high. It is caught. It's gonna be well short of the first down. Here's the boot for the left footer. Not a good spiral. Now takes a big Georgia Tech bounce and is going to be touched. It will be Reggie Ball directing the offense here for the Georgia Tech Yellow Jackets. Started 33 of his 34 games. I have to think he had a bad ball game for him against this Miami team last year. Three pickoffs and some not so good decisions, but he wants to make amends for that. Zips this pass, has the first one complete out of the 49 yard line to big Calvin Johnson. Randy Phillips, number six, a freshman out of Bell Glade, comes into the ball game replacing him. Pitch back goes to Tashari Choice, going to be hit behind the line of scrimmage and knocked down. P.J. Daniels not able to play at all tonight. So here are the starters. Choice at tailback. It'll be Calvin Johnson and uh, Bilbo at the wide receiver spot. George Cooper is the tight end. And up front with the offensive line, the biggest change here is... Masurovich will start replacing Brad Honeycutt at that right tackle. Second down and 12. Pitch looked like a broken play, and now it is totally broken as penetration by Orion Harris. For the Hurricanes, up front, we just talked about Harris. Baraka Adams has had an outstanding year. Javon Natton and Thomas Carroll on the outside of the defensive ends. The linebackers, McIntosh, Romeo Davis, and John Beeson. And in the secondary, Jennings, who was shaken up and had to go out, and Marcus Maxey, conference standings. Here they come, twist inside, also a blitz. The ball gets it away, and he has the catch, and it's very close to the first down as he gets it out to Pat Clark. They have it at the 39 and a half yard line. They'll go with a running play. Here comes Choice, bounces it outside at the 30, still on his feet, and is going to be pushed on a bouncer. Is that Chris Wood? Rare situation indeed. You're right. First down, Georgia Tech. They have it at the 24 and a half yard line. Ball, great protection. Gets the pass out complete to Calvin Johnson. Time is back in. Happy to report for Hurricane fans. Number 22, Kelly Jennings, back on the field of play. He's down at the bottom of the screen. Chris Woods, a tailback, and a throw, and it's intercepted, and that's the freshman, Kenny Phillips. He's trying to run it out of the end zone, and it's going to be tackled. Pass interference, number 24 in the defense. The penalty occurred in the end zone. The ball will be placed at the two-yard line.
first and goal. So with that, they spot the ball at the two-yard line, as our referee said. Choice back in the ball game, puts a head down, nothing doing. That eighth play of the drive coming up. Short drop, fade route, near sideline, looking for Johnson, well overthrown. It may be one of the most underrated corners in all of college football. Choice straight ahead, bangs his way, touchdown Georgia Tech. Merriweather got up to make the hit, but it was not enough. As you could see, Tassar Choice really has a burst. Travis Bell to attempt the extra point, he's got it. So, with 10 minutes and 16 seconds showing on the clock, it is Georgia Tech who goes on at the scoreboard first. Because they played terrible at Virginia Tech and got off to an awful start run last week, down 17-0 to Virginia and Charlottesville. Jennings, 25, 30, and he's going to bring it out to around the 35. Into 100 meters. Speed guy. Right, hands it straight ahead. Charlie Jones going to be hit behind the line of scrimmage. And that's Jarris Wilkinson. Who, no gain in the play. Second down and 10. Play action. Here comes the screen and thrown a little too far. Jones caught it, but he fell down. And, and the judge says you got to let him back on. We'll talk more about that. Nothing to the right, pass to the left. And was it caught? No, incomplete off the hands of Moss for the 841 mark. High pass, and the left footer got it away. Boy, they were fortunate. Now it takes a huge Miami bounce, and it's going to come out of bounds at the 21. Let's go to the sideline. He's one of the guys they're certainly going to play him, as you can see. Thank you, Holly. Mike Cox in motion. Little counter tray, and boy, there is nothing. Deshard Choice is just conditioning in this young man's ability to go out there and play well. Tried to set up the screen, and it's thrown incomplete at the 15. And Ruben Houston is on the field tonight. Third down and 13. Here comes pressure. Ball is set at the six-yard line, and it's Brian Potter. All of a sudden, he's out there on the field tonight. Here's the punt, and also we need to reiterate, it is accused felon. So from just inside the 40, draw play. Charlie Jones, and Charlie with uh, three, maybe four tough yards. Can tackle just like his brother. They are can tough. Tackle. Hey, both of them. I bet there were some battle royals in that backyard. Wright going to be hit, and he's sacked by Eric Henderson. A freshman quarterback at Auburn. This Tenuta defense gave him fits. And right now, he is causing problems for Kyle Wright. Look for a safety valve. Not there. Going to run it 40, 35. And then, whoa, does he get hit? Jarris Wilkinson on the tackle. And on fourth down, you better not fumble it forward unless you're going to recover it because it's coming back to where you fumbled it. Not going to be a point, though, because Wright is sacked again. This time, Philip Wheeler into sharp choice, the Richard sophomore out of Riverdale, Georgia, by way of Oklahoma, in the game at tailback. And they'll hand it off to him, hit behind the line of scrimmage. And that normally the starter at tailback. And that's the reason we're seeing choice. Pass. Was it caught by Johnson? Yes. Boy, what a stab. And then come back underneath and watch this catch right here by Calvin Johnson. Georgia Tech leads at 7 0, about to go under four minutes to play, opening quarter. Quarterback sneak, and Reggie Ball will have the first down. He has to make amends or want to make amends for the way he played last year because he was not a true Reggie Ball production. Straight ahead with choice, and he's going to have about five yards. Second down and about five and a half. Choice, look at him, change direction, has five, has ten. And I'll tell you what, folks, would extremely impressive. To Manello with a very good block on the play, the center. They pitch it back to Choice. Nothing to the left. Tries to bounce it back to the right. Check it. It's Chris Woods. It's second down. They need to take it just outside the 20-yard line. Ball looking. Goes to the end zone. And that one not close. Under two minutes to play first quarter. 
but to put it in the stomach of choice and the draw play didn't work good idea but Miami was right there see how he has done this is going to be a 42 yard attempt he's 50 percent four of eight ball is down plenty of distance did he yank it yes yanked it to the left tried to get too much on it didn't need it Marcus Maxey was in the backfield Hill is the lone setback on first and ten big stop Miami quick out pass goes to Moss Sonoris takes it out across the 30 they are going to appeal probably I am told second down and short pass zipped it completed the 40 got that one to Darnell Jenkins we protection again a hill the lone setback and they give it to him and he'll go for short yardage only a couple to around the 43 so that's going to be the end of the opening quarter and we'll take a timeout maybe a few shot folks around the country into the first 15 seven and nothing tech light poster are not lit tonight portable lighting in here right going to try to scramble out and he will be tackled at the 42 when it starts coming third down they need to take it across midfield to the 48 here comes pressure again right drills the ball incomplete thrown well in front of Darnell Jenkins another pass from center that was not the best but a line drive kick it goes away from the return man okay Reese thanks very much partner first and ten play action to Chris Woods sets to throw ball Johnson caught it. Did he come down in bounds? Yes. Boy, wow. Illegal. Chris Woods continues to operate a tailback. Number 24. He gets it. A little counterplay. Not much there. They only have one tonight, but it was a minus 11 on that play. Quick throw. Ball is tipped in the air and at the 12-yard line third down and the line to make is out of the 26. draw play woods fighting across the 15 a flag is down They're gonna have to come back and do it again this is the man who's back there he's become the all everything good coverage kick very high Fair catch, no fair catch called for, and the tackle made immediately. Miami won, and Georgia Tech actually should have seven on that Calvin Johnson catch, but it was erased by a penalty, as you see. I'll tell you what, Patrick Willis, buddy, he, he better be the best in that car. There's anybody else, they need to put him in chain. So it's third down, and as we said, they have to go to the 42-yard line. Here comes a blitz. They're bringing everybody. The pass is complete to Moss. If he gets outside, it's trouble. He was not able to. And by his head right here, not his heart. Georgia Tech has come close, but they don't get there on this one. High-hanging spiral. is going to bound at the 10, and now it takes a Miami bounce and goes out of bounds. Good news late this afternoon. That storm is looking more like... It is not going to come into the southern tip of Florida. That it'll go south of there. Pass for Johnson. Did he catch it in bounds? No. Second down of 10. Blitz put him off the corner, and that's where Reggie Ball gets hit. They brought him from that side, and Marcus Maxey. Choice, the tailback, lined up five yards deep in his own end zone. Straight ahead, one yard, and that's it. They'll be punting with a line of scrimmage after it. Here's the boot. Jenkins is the deep man on the run. Gets a lucky bounce. 42. Retreats all the way back to the 48. And here he comes. There's a wall. And he's going to be tackled by the putter. Ben Hart inside the 25-yard line. Joe Gaston on the special teams for Tech. Lucky he didn't get a 15-yard penalty for that elbow into the head late. Quick pass in the flat. Overthrown. Intended for Hill. Buck Ortega, the tight end, flips over to the right side, lines up in the slot. They go with the tailback, and I tell you, Charlie Jones has not really been a factor so far tonight. It's third down, and Miami needs the 14. They're 0 of 5 on third down conversion. Blitz right up the middle, pass over the middle, had a man there, didn't turn around, and was almost intercepted. Sonoris Moss, Miami trying to cut it to a four-point ball game. 
plenty of distance and plenty of accuracy. We got a 7-3 ball game. John Petty. And that's key, Ron, because last week against Wake Forest, John Petty missed two extra points. But if you look at those Miami players. McGuire's the other deep man back there. Very high. But this is a spinner. Going to come down to McGuire at the three-yard line. 15, 20. High stepper. Takes it all the way out to around the 28. Seen a lot of poses by head coaches in that stadium on missed field goals between Coach Bowden and some opposing coaches as well. That's another great one-loss team. Choice gets the pitch back, tries to turn the corner. Boy, that is great pursuit by Glenn Cook. Choice on third down needs to take it to the 39. Here comes the pressure. Going to have to hustle out of the pocket, throws this one away. One guy stands out, and they are certainly playing team defense. Okay, Holly. Here comes the punt. Fair catch called for at the 26-yard line. It's a long time with Jimmy Johnson and Butch Davis. Yeah, he, and he's big on that. He not only preaches it, but he acts it out. Short running play right here with Charlie Jones and Chris Reese. Yeah. But the competition in those Miami practices. Exactly. That's the reason the backups are so good. Wright's going to go on top. One-on-one -on -one coverage and incomplete. At the 30, looking for Ryan Moore. And Miami now with a third down. They have not committed a third down conversion tonight. 0 for 6. Wright going to go deep over the middle. That's going to be in a sit. No, it is dropped. And he just threw it up for grab. Taking advantage of all weapons, Ron. Here comes the boot. It's a line drive kick. Fumble or muck the ball. Recovered by Georgia Tech at the 26-yard line. First down and 10. Fox shows 5.41 to play first half. The sharp choice, the tailback, but they'll use him to block. And here's a pass to Johnson, complete for about eight yards. That's caught right in front of the Miami bench. Those guys who stand there said, yep, yeah, he could play for us. He could play for us big time. That running play is going to go for about one. Right now it's a third down at about a yard and a half needed by Georgia Tech. Choice will not get the handoff. They fake it to him, and it's to the tight end overthrown. George Cooper with no call. Oh, here comes the kick. Wobbly spiral. Jenkins on the run. Got away from him, and now a big Georgia Tech roll. It's going to be Miami scrimmaging. Oh, we said that Tanuta might get this young man troubled, and he has. Look, 5 of 14. That is what he has completed tonight, only 31 yards. And this is the longest run from scrimmage by Charlie Jones. There you see Winston, the big tackle. They move him over, actually, to the tight end position on the left side, and they take the ball the other direction. It'll be enough for the first down. Probably one of the reasons that the coaches say his work ethic is so good on the practice field. He'll hand it to him again. Takes it to the left side and powers forward for about three yards. And you know, it gives you a greater appreciation for practice may not be quite as hard when you've been working 10-hour days. Wright drills the ball. Has it complete at the 39-yard line to Ryan Moore. Georgia Tech showing blitz off the corner. Wright now possibly with an audible. And here they come. Blitz off that top corner. Going to go on top. Fade route. That single coverage caught it, but was he in bounds? Yes, and they say out of bounds at the 24-yard line. Ryan Moore, uh, Calvin Johnson. How about Ryan Moore right here? Is that a tremendously thrown ball? Dennis Davis was as close to him as you could be without having pass interference. Here comes a draw play, big opening for Hill, and then it closes up quickly. 106 now, one on five, 105. Blitz coming off the low corner this time. Pass over the middle, complete at the five, and it'll be a touchdown. Sonora Smalls. And you have to wonder, Ruben Houston started just on the other side of the 10 as the extra point attempt is up and good by Petty. And with 57 ticks on the clock until halftime, 10 7 ball game. Xavier McGuire. Rashawn Grant of the two deep end. This is long and a spinner. And it's going to go five yards deep, and they'll take it over Choice and Woods in the backfield this time. 
choice gets free 20 25 30 going to be a run of about 12 yards starting tailback who's out with a sternum injury you remember those early timeouts that reggie ball took they'd love to have one right now as he has to throw this one away because they have no timeouts quarterback draw hit behind the line of scrimmage and redraw that one is orion harris and we are at halftime Our halftime score, Miami 10 and Georgia Tech 7. Let's join Luis Davis in the studio for the Pontiac Performance Halftime Report. Remainder of the first half of play. I think it says that, yes, this Miami defense is aroused. This is Grant. Far sideline, 25-30. And finally going to be stopped at the 32-yard line. Down the field on rundowns. When you have a shot here for Georgia Tech, you better take it because you're not going to get many. Here they roll that pocket. Ball drills it, has it complete. Dunlap. We may get a late hit on Nanton. From the 40. Blitz coming. They try to set up a screen. Throws that one way. But they did throw the ball twice here on running downs. First and ten coming out of the locker room. Choice, big opening, and he is going to squirt his way through for about seven yards. But it'll be back in the first half. Third down, they need to take it to the 30. You see the blitz coming past, delivered ahead to get rid of it. Stands back to punt. Here's the boot. It's a pooch kick, very high. Not real long, but it's perfect for the situation. And is going to bound out of bounds. Arnt's done a good job today. Punting and tackling. <laughs> and short yardage for Charlie Jones. How many linebackers that have four interceptions in a year? Even seniors. Yep, Charlie Jones again. And what happens to you? You struggle just like Miami's doing tonight. See if they can make it one of eight. Yes, they do. There's the run. Charlie Jones will pick up the first third down conversion of one of eight for Miami. They take the reverse, and the running play goes right up into the line. Deep in the pocket. Here comes pressure, and he is going to be sacked. That's Daryl Robertson. Hit up how improved the offensive line was. You see the blitz coming right up the middle again. So Wright gets rid of it. Got man coverage overthrown at the 49. Right. We'll make an accurate throw. Brian Monroe, the left footer, end over end on this one. From the 45 is Clark. And Pat will be hit after a gain of five on the return. Well, not anymore. Good field position, Georgia Tech, even though they had the penalty. From the 39, hit behind the line of scrimmage. That play is going to go absolutely nowhere. Short drop, quarterback draw. Called play. I'll tell you what, Reggie shows how strong he is. He's going to have a gain of five on that one. It's a second 15-yard penalty. Unsportsmanlike conduct. Excessive celebration. Number 15 and number 99. Second 15-yard penalty of the second half right here at the end of it. Becomes taunting right there. A little dancing going on. Miami with a three-point lead. And the Jackets beginning to threaten again. This is Choice. Right at the middle. Big opening. Has five. Has ten. And count this one off at a gain of 13 yards. You see Miami jamming up on the line of scrimmage. They got eight in the box. Running play is just going to go for short yardage. Is cramping up and leaving the field in numbers. Very interesting for late November. Here's the throw. Did Johnson get it? He went diving. And the official's going to say incomplete. But sometimes it's best with a guy like Calvin Johnson, who's a long strider, to throw his timing off of the line of scrimmage rather than let him get into the pattern. There's the throw. Got it complete. And the big fella is going to have the first down. We'll see if I can match it. Yeah, they do that in practice every day. That's right. 
Quarterback draw, 15, 10, 5, touchdown Reggie Ball, and Georgia Tech goes back on top. 16 yards as Kenny Phillips had a shot at him and could not make the tackle. The ball game, Travis Bell, and he does right down the middle. So, 7-17 left in the third, new score. Georgia Tech 14 at the Hurricanes 10. Unsportsmanlike conduct was called, and it looked as though he was a little... That uh, that play had a little mustard on it. From the 20. Up to the 40-yard line is James Bryant. Andrew Johnson is in the lineup for the first time tonight. Number 32, a sophomore out of Pittsburgh, and they really like him. But they go play action with him, and he's going to be sacked at the 34-yard line by K. Michael Hall. All Miami fans know was nine against Florida State. Second down and 15. You see the safety blitz coming. And oh boy, the quarterback is hit as he throws it complete at the 49 yard line. Scott, but the courage of the quarterback. Third and inches, and he's going to be hit behind the line of scrimmage. Decision time. Philip Wheeler, seventh time that he's punted tonight. Here's the boot. Not a good spiral. Line drive and returnable, but look at the coverage by Miami. First and 10 inside their 20. Here's Choice. Nothing to the left. Tries to bounce it outside, and that's where that speed to Sharp Choice again is the tailback. Ball steps up, drills it, and he's got it complete at the 30 yard line to James Johnson. He's one of the extra defensive backs. On first and 10, you see the blitz off the corner. And Choice gets trips up, tripped up college football. It really is amazing. Second down, here comes the blitz again. Picked up nicely by Choice, and the pass is caught by George Cooper. Georgia Tech with 11 plays tonight of 10 yards or better against the nation's best defense. Ball and zips it, has it complete across the midfield stripe. That's Demarius Bilbo, and the first time that we've seen him tonight. Stepping up in that pocket and just throwing a shot. Bilbo out of Moss Point, Mississippi is 6'3", 220. Here's Choice, breaks a tackle, breaks another, puts a head down, and he's going to have about seven yards on this play. No, I'll tell you what, and his critics won't shut up probably after this ball game tonight. Holly, he's really been impressive. Blitz comes from the outside. Ball gets it away. It's going to be short. Incomplete. Third down. They need to take it to the 36-yard line. Chris Woods in a tailback. Pressure backside. Ball is knocked away. And they're very fortunate they did not have a flag. Holler than <laughs> Kelly Jennings. Give him a chance. Seventh punt of the night by Georgia Tech. It's going to bound. Uh, take a Miami bounce, but it's still. It is uh, guaranteed. That Lloyd Carr would have gone for 10 more today. <laughs> First and 10. Well, not much there for Charlie Jones as Wilkinson. <laughs> Second down, about six, the pass thrown quickly. Ryan Moore, the intended receiver for Miami tonight, only one of ten in third down conversions. See if they can close the door on them again. They need to take it just beyond the 28. Here's pressure. Wright is going to be sacked. Wow. Well, they trashed Kyle Wright for the sixth time tonight. Driving that wobbly spiral. Ball is not. They scramble for it, still loose, and it would appear that Georgia Tech is on it back at the 26-yard line. Because at some point, don't you just fair catch the football and take it if you're Georgia Tech? Fourth quarter is next. Every pro college has put team in the country, does it? I don't think to, anybody has the advantage well, I'd love on to that. know who originated it. Choice hit behind the line of scrimmage. Get a license. Johnson in motion deep in the pocket ball gonna go deep over the middle has Johnson and he made the catch at the 45 yard line diving on the scene the run that is a pretty oh. picture of a big time sophomore to the fun to watch that one right there is really special here's choice bounces it to the outside gonna have three maybe four yard a good person you're exactly right plus being a sensational athlete play action boy the man who is supposed to maintain contain not only stayed at home but 
Third down. Line to make is the 33. Flag comes down. We're going to have a delay penalty. Probably didn't have a long list on this. George Cooper in motion. Look at the pressure coming from the outside. Got one-on-one -on -one coverage. Far sideline. Here comes the flag as the ball has been intercepted by Kenny Phillips. Flag thrown at the point. Return continues back to the 45-yard line. Now, let's see if this is offensive or defensive. Against the Canes. Bump and run coverage with Maxi. I don't like that call at all. If anything, he got a little bit of the face mask right there, but they didn't call that. That's a pretty darn good job of coverage right there. First down from the 30. Running play choice. Flag comes down. Split second decision. As this is a huge hold on George. To see if it does come down to have a big part in the outcome of the ball game. First down and 20. Screen back into the short side of the field, thrown too short in choice. Ball gets the snap. Second down and very long. Deep over the middle. This one's going to be incomplete. Double coverage. And just over 12 to play. Chan Gailey has played conservative on these down and distances. Here's Choice. Breaks it big up the middle inside the 30. And he's down to the 26-yard line. His longest 48 yards. This one is going to be an attempt of 44 yards. Keep on Marcus Maxey coming off that corner for Miami. Good snap. Plenty of distance. And he is wide left. No good. Blitz coming on Miami. They throw the screen there. Tries to pick up the block. Flag is down, and it's going to come out over the 40-yard line. Fullback on the play. Offensive holding. Miami erase the 15-yard play. What you better watch, Georgia Tech. You mentioned earlier, 18 interceptions. The most that the Georgia Tech since 1981. Swings the pass out at the 20-yard line. Not very much for Sonoris Moss. A lot of pass protection. Forced to stay in because of these blitzes. Blitz off the corner again. Has time. Gets it away. Incomplete. That one intended. The man that was talking about Jenkins. And he quickly said, Sonoris Moss is the man I would not want to have to deal with. He's the toughest to stay with. Third down. They roll the pocket to the left this time. Right. Gonna go to put it on top. And it is tipped. And a flag comes down. We have multiple fouls. We have an ineligible receiver. Number 84 was covered. We have pass interference. Number 24, the defense. They're all set. Repeat third down. Because Ortega's 15 and Greg Olson's 82. Third down. We'll play it again. Pressure right at the middle. And Wright is going to be sacked again. K. Michael Hall. It's against Florida State in the first game. Here's the punt. And boy, I'll tell you, they're coming close. Knowing the left footer steps in one direction. Touched by Georgia Tech. And recovered by Miami. Miami trailing by four. 14 to 10. Charlie Jones. They pulled the guard. They tried the right side. There's not much there. Yes, you knew constantly. All right, Reese. Play action here. Right. Rolls the pocket. Has a man there. There's a tight end. They finally threw to Ortega. The pass protection is key. Good for 24 yards on the play. Hands it off to Charlie Jones, and Charlie is going to have short yardage. Defense. Again, you see those linebackers up in a blitz position. And they come off the corner on the top of the screen. Charlie Jones going to be hit and stopped short of the first down by Wilkinson. Clock about to go under eight minutes left in our ball game. Miami 1 of 12 on third down conversions. And Charlie is being spun around. And Jones tackled by Oliver. They need about two yards. Right. Hands it off to running back. Jones hit behind the line of scrimmage. And you see the celebration. Leading by four. Choice. 
with counteraction, tries to bounce it outside, and look at the speed by Kenny Phillips. Crowd trying to help out the defense. Second down and ten. Ball, far sideline, overthrows Johnson. Okay, this Georgia Tech team lost a heartbreaker to NC State on a ball thrown behind Johnson at his tip. Flag comes in, come out of his stance, 64. Ball scores, number 64 of the offense. Five yards from the line of scrimmage. It remains third down. They just punt the football and play defense if you're Georgia Tech. Third down, they need to take it out to the 25-yard line. He's got it up here, and a man is there, and it's overthrown. It was Calvin Johnson who just... Barely got it away. Wobbly spiral, and... Jenkins spins around, looks for a block. Boy, in all kind of trouble, going to run out of bounds at the 46-yard line. Look at this right here, rush yards, Miami. 30 total, season low, 34 against Temple. Right deep in the pocket, going to go deep down the far sideline at the tight end, and we just talked about it. Greg Olson, the tight end. With Look for twist stunts up front by Georgia Tech. Right Sets deep in the pocket, right over the middle, got a man. Tips should have been intercepted by Wilkinson of Georgia Tech. I mean, one of 13 on third down conversions. Georgia Tech blitz off the corner, top of your screen, and they throw the screen pass back into the boundary. Good call, except they had that defended punts by Miami tonight. Ten, and nobody back for Georgia Tech. There you go. Now you made a good decision, Chan Gailey. Just take the football. Touch dead at the five-yard line. To shard choice in a tailback. It's the worst starting position of the night by Georgia Tech, and they go conservative on the running play. Miami shows blitz. They come off the corner, and it is Reggie Ball in the quarterback sneak, and he picks up the first down. It's number 19 for Georgia Tech. Miami with only eight on the evening. Choice bounces it outside. It's a good one-on-one -on -one stop. But up by four, three minutes and 50 seconds to play. Second and seven. Choice hit behind the minor scrimmage. Tries to wiggle his way out. Third down. They need to take it to the 29-yard line. Ball. Looking for Johnson, and oh, incomplete. Oh, oh, oh. Right into the middle of double coverage. The, thing, the premier power turner in the country. Oh. Best oh. part of the night. Driving spiral well over his head, and look at this. Back inside the five-yard line, and if oh. I pick it up, it would have gone into the end zone. And the tackle not made. Going to bring it out to around the 10-yard line. He's going to keep blitzing. Kyle Wright delivers it, has it complete. That's Hill, and Hill over the 20 and to around the 24-yard line. Right from the shotgun again. K. Michael Hall coming from down below on your screen. Pass is complete at the 40, 45 for Ryan Moore. And just like that, it... here comes Georgia Tech again. Ball is underthrown. Here comes the blitz. Picked up. Pass caught. 50 yard line. Moss down the sideline and finally tripped up. It's going to be inside the 30 yard line. Again, the empty formation with Greg Olson lined up out at wide. So here we go. The shotgun formation. Sets deep in the pocket. Going for the end zone. There's the tight end. It is intercepted. Georgia Tech with the pickoff. Dennis Davis and the celebration Thanks, across Dennis. the way has begun. A minute and 38 seconds left, and the number three team in the country is about to go down in their own backyard. Get this 138 off the clock. Let's get in the plane and head back to Atlanta, Georgia. Reggie Ball takes it wide, does not want to get out of bounds. Alumni, and you're just giving the guy an extension. As we watch Reggie Ball on a quarterback keeper, he is close to the first down. In fact, I think he just got it. But the ball was thrown behind him, and his head coach said, yes, it did. It devastated him for a while. Here comes Reggie Ball. Tries to bounce it outside, and he's going to slide down to make sure he does not go out of bounds. 
is if Miami loses this game, are they going to lose a BCS bowl bid? That run will go out to the 19 yard line, and then they will not have to run another play. Reggie Ball stretches it out. Going to go down. And three seconds down to two.